church experience glued me to Jesus as Lord. When I was a church member, there were two scripture verses that prompted my fondness for searching God's word, which I am still compelled to do this very day. Scripture verses that prompted my need to search God's word connected with that which Christ Jesus did related to a subject being considered in a church study. To examine scripture, it encouraged me to daily search the scriptures to learn and identify why my faith in God's word increased as I identified pollutions of mankind. Seeing the efforts of mankind was that which was contaminating the gospel of the kingdom to have their organization shine forth by being supported by that which was being preached by them. I take delight from the word of God and enjoy the Lord Christ Jesus as being the one identified by the Father to be the one for man to hear. And as it was commanded by Christ Jesus, the gospel he provided and promoted after Christ paid the blood atonement and became first fruit was to be learned, observed, and preached. Jeremiah twenty two twenty nine, O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. The preceding scripture verse in particular prompted me to remember that which the Father said at the time of his Son Christ Jesus' baptism, after his Son Christ Jesus had become the Son of Man, and again at the time when Christ Jesus was transformed before three of his disciples. Matthew 3.17 And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matthew 17.5 While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Also, the following scriptures that encourage me to focus on prophecies of the Son of God identified as becoming Christ Jesus, how the work and words of Christ Jesus was to be the life guiding security for mankind. Jeremiah twenty three thirty five Thus shall ye say every one to his neighbor and every one to his brother, What hath the Lord answered? And what hath the Lord spoken? Jeremiah twenty three thirty seven. Thus shalt thou say to the prophet, What hath the Lord answered thee? And what hath the Lord spoken? The preceding scriptures were a prompt to me to also give attention to knowing no matter the title of the one providing the message, their use of God's word must be considered. I also found encouraging the words spoken by Mary, the one that had been overshadowed by the Holy Spirit, to bring the Son of God into the world. Mary was also chosen to be a disciple and along with other women was to share the gospel after Christ arose from the tomb and became first fruit. John 2 5. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. 2 Timothy 1 9. Who hath saved us and called us 
within holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began.